Hi everybody, it's Miss Laura. Welcome to Sunday School. Today is the last Sunday before Advent. Some Christians call this Sunday Christ the King Sunday, and it's a day to celebrate that Jesus is King and Lord over all things. Let's practice our Bible verse, Philippians 4.4. 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let's also practice our memory verse from earlier in the fall, Psalm 24, verse 1. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it, the world and those who live in it. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your love for us and your presence with us always. Thank you for the Bible story we're going to learn about today. Amen. Now, today's Bible story is from Genesis 27, 1 through 45. It's called The Blessing. One day, when Isaac was an old man, he asked Esau, his older son, to go hunting and to cook a meal for him and then bring it back. And then afterwards, Isaac would bless Esau. But Rebekah, Isaac's wife, and Esau and Jacob's mom heard all of this. She told Jacob about it and she said, I will cook a meal and you serve it to your father before Esau gets back. You pretend to be Esau and serve it to him. That way he will give you his blessing instead of giving it to your brother. Now Rebekah helped Jacob put on a disguise to trick Isaac and Jacob served the food to his father. Isaac was a little suspicious, but he ate the meal and he blessed Jacob with a special blessing for the firstborn son because he thought it was Esau. Now when Esau got home, he didn't know anything about this and he cooked a meal and brought it to his father. But Isaac said, who are you? Esau said, I'm your firstborn son, Esau. Then Isaac started shaking. He said, then who did I just bless? Who just brought me a meal? Who was that? Then they realized that Jacob had pretended to be Esau. Esau said, Jacob has tricked me twice. First, he took away my birthright my special place as the firstborn son, and look, now he's taken away my blessing. Esau was so angry with his brother that Rebekah had to send Jacob away to live with her brother, Laban. Now, I wonder, last week we heard about how Jacob made Esau pay for a meal with his birthright. So Jacob would get the special privileges of being the firstborn son instead of Esau. I wonder, is this why Rebecca helped Jacob trick Esau? I wonder, what do you think about the way Jacob treated his brother? What would you have done if you were Jacob? I wonder, why was Isaac's blessing so important to Jacob and Esau? Have you ever been blessed? I wonder how do you think Esau felt when he found out their mother had sent Jacob away? Hmm. Now, if you'd like to send me a message or be added to our email list, you can send an email to me at l-a-r-c-i-n-i-e-g-a at s-o-t-h-u-n-c dot org. You can also send confidential prayer requests through our Family Ministries Google form. The link is below in the video description. I'd love to hear from you. Now let's close with our closing prayer from Sunday School. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.